Bible's a really old book. It doesn't have much relevance for today. Look at this. Look at this. Everyone did what was right in his own eyes. Are we not living in a day like that? Where people are decided to do what they think is right. They're defining what they think is right and wrong. And so we're living in a day like this. We have a lot to learn from the book of Judges. So however long it takes us to get through this on Wednesday nights, we're going to see some things that we need to learn as a culture. Because we're living in a time of, rel of moral relativism. People doing what is right in their own eyes. They are their own judge. They are their own king. They are their own God. That's this day. And if you if you try to rebuff someone and say, no, 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 this this is this isn't right. Well, how do you know? Oh, because I'm referring to God's word as the standard of moral righteousness. They will look at you as a hater and a bigot. Because they will say to you, you don't have any right to determine what is right and what is wrong. You know, because man has made himself central to his own moral standard. And when man is center of his own moral standard, instead of God being center to the moral standard, then you are raising up anarchists. You are basically deciding that you can rule your own life the way you want to. You thumb your nose at God and you are in charge of your life. We're living in this day. And so we particularly... As, as Christians have to understand, look, the moral standard is, is God's word. The moral standard is God's word. God determines what is right and what is wrong. And God doesn't change. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. But as the culture changes and as society morphs into different things, we as Christians decide, you know what? You know what? Our lives are, are um, tethered to the word of God. And so we don't shift with the culture. And, and thus, we're continuing to take a stand for what is right and what is wrong as God defines it. And when you take that stand, there are going to be people who will think of you in, in very disparaging terms. Because they don't like that you have a sense of right and, and what is wrong. Because to them, it sounds judgmental. To people who are themselves their own moral standard. When you say, no, God is my moral standard, and so I operate my life based on what he says is right and what is wrong, they will think that you're judging them. And it's like, you're like, I'm not trying to judge anybody. I'm just trying to live by what is really spelled out in scriptures right and what is wrong. So we're in this tension today in, in our culture. And there is this, you know, we, it's an overused cliche, but there is this culture war. And so, you know, as Christians decide, are, are, you, going to, are you going to shift with the culture? and become just like the culture or are you going to stand your ground and say you know what the, there are some things that god defines as right and some things that he defines as wrong and wherever he spells that out in the bible i'm aligning myself with god and his standard and that's what this is about you know there is a story 